Look at all of them. Those are all, like, look at all of them. Holy crap, look at all of them. Wow, this is full of glass minnows. That's a good sign. Yeah, it goes all the way up there. Uh, tide is high, so stuff is hiding way back up there, but we might have to come back later this afternoon when the tide drops, but we might be able to see something down here. There's one right there. You can kind of see this. Oh, there's a second one. You can see their, their sides shimmering. I can see the tail and the outline, kind of like my, uh, my tarpon logo. So he's right there. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. Back here at the launch, taking a look at the uh, tarpon because I brought the fly rod and I tied up some schminnows. So I'm gonna mess around with these guys here. There's a couple of them there. You can see his side this way and you can just see it kind of the silvery just before you get to the green mats up there, just down about a foot. He's just sitting right there. There's a couple of them in there. But uh, the water, as you can see, is up. It goes way all the way through the mangroves. So these tarpon can sit way back in there. I paddled this whole section here and these are the first two I seen. Um, I imagine there's probably 20 or 30 of them in here, but there's just no possibility of seeing them at the higher tide. So tide is very important for this kind of stuff. See, he's moving out there. So pick, and, pick your times, pick your tides, very important. Sharky shark. But uh, anyways, that's the plan. Play with some little tarpon. Uh, try not to lose any flies. That's probably the number one priority. And uh, just see what's out and about, uh, especially now with the higher tide. I think I'm just gonna bounce around the flats a little bit. Maybe go to the Gulf uh, Atlantic side, see if there's any pilchards around. I see tons of glass minnows, but I haven't seen any pilchards in a while. And then uh, maybe see some kudos or uh, the big tarpon on the Atlantic side. So that is the plan. Saw those guys hanging around. Bam, but those are all glass minnows. I don't want them, but they're pretty good sized ones. I don't want to Christmas tree my net, but I might need those to entice those uh, tarpon. Look at all of them. Man, if I had an ice chest, I'd be loading up on those. I'm gonna take a look and see if I can find any pilchards around. And then if not, I think I will throw the net on those and just get some. Yeah, they're all down deep there. I don't see pilchards though. Ooh, those might be right there. Those are pilchards. Man, the bottom is just filled with them. Yeah, those are pilchards. All right, this is gonna be difficult. They're in there, they're hiding in those weeds. Yeah, there we go. Get down, get down, get down. Look how long that takes to get down to the bottom. There we go. I see sparkles. Look at all those flashes. I see a lot of glass minnows. That's not good. Glass minnows, glass minnows, Christmas tree. I've got enough for chumming. What a mess. Could have sworn I seen pilchards. They just might be too smart. There's pilchards down there. Just couldn't. Yeah, there's some in the bucket, but. Let's see if we could see any bonefish, kudas, permit. They'll be right inside here. I don't want to throw the kuda tube yet, unless I see one. I'm looking for... He's eating. Oh, come on, there's got to be a bonefish or something in here. 
it's that time. Nice cuda there. But I don't want to blow up this hole unless there's a bigger cuda. Let me get them lined up with this other flats. I saw a bonefish right there. Yep, that's a boner. Right there. Oh, too close. Oh, did you get it? Got him. Got him. Haha, <laughs> bonefisher. On the one eighth ounce bucktail jig. Gotcha. Bonefish, bonefish. Stay away from them kudas. Don't go in that deep water. Go in that deep water, you're gonna get eat ton. Oh, I don't have my bonefish net. There it is. Bonefish. A la right there by the park. Oh, it came off. Dang it. There he is right there. He's like, what happened? All right, well, that's how you do it. Well, 75% of the way you do it. All right, got the bonefish. That was on the white, 1 8 ounce. Bucktail bonefish jig. And he went right at it. Thought I got it too close to him, but nope. He said, mine. What are all those there? That can't be a school of uh, bonefish, is it? One of those jacks. Bonefish? What are those? I got one, whatever it is. Oh, that is, those are, that's a massive school of bonefish. Look at all those bonefish. Holy crap, Greedy Steve has nothing. Look at all of them. Those are all, like, look at all of them. Holy crap, look at all of them. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh. There's still a bunch in there, but that big school's going that way. Oh, holy lordies. There's my bonefish. All right. I just want to let you go, man, really. I want to see what the rest of those guys are going. Oh, lord. There's probably like 50 bonefish. Oh, stay away, Kuda. I kind of need this one for pictures, promo photos. I wish I had my... Turn over. Turn over. I wish I had my bonefish net. There it goes. There we go. That is the all about the bait bonefish jig head. One eighth ounce. God. Man, I want to let you go more than you want to get let go. Right in the front of the mouse there. God. All right. All right. Relax, buddy. You got time. Your buddies are still around here somewhere. I want to find them. But I want to make sure you're all right first. Turn you this way where the current is blasting. You got to be strong, man. There's a lot of kudas in here. All right. Get out and relax. Holy crappers. There is a ton of bonefish around here. See if I can find that school again. So I don't see anything. It's really deep here. It's four or five foot here. Now we're getting into like the big tarpon zone. I mean, there's a good chance they could be out here, but just finding them would be very difficult, even in a massive school like that. There's one more uh, flat sandy area that I'm gonna hit, a couple on the inside, and then I gotta stay focused because we're wearing a tarpon shirt. So we gotta go catch tarpon, stay focused. All right, so we're on the end of this channel coming through and it ends here, then goes out to the main ocean. This is our permit spot. 
This is piece number three of our Grand Slam uh, chase. It's really ripping right now, but we have to come back here a little bit later and it should be just about right conditions. For now, stay focused. Look for, or, oh, right there, what's that? I think that's a big tarpon. Yeah, that's just a big ass tarpon. Oh, 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 here's, oh, he wants it. Oh, he opened his mouth. Why do my cast suck so much? That was my big tarpon. Dang it. Rah! Snag him. Yeah, those guys are out. Dang it. I came right at me. I saw him open his mouth, but he couldn't inhale it. See a bonefish. Oh God, let it go. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, it's swimming away from me. Dang it. I couldn't get it up. Oh, that was a good bonefish too. Didn't have my rod ready. I need the quarter ounce for this current. All right, I think I'm gonna walk this edge. It's shallow right now. This is hard packed bottom. I'll put the old anchor out. And since it's an, since it's an outgoing tide, I'm gonna see if I can put my Oh, nope, that ain't going in. There it goes. Just to be secure. All right. I'm going to walk right along the edge and just see if I could spot those bonefish in there. I spooked them, but you never know. See, we're only ankle deep. It's like concrete bottom. That way I can just go a couple of steps at a time, really look in those little potholes there. Because that's what they were. They're using them as a current break. Waiting for that food to come over them. School. Big school of them right here in front of me. Right there. I'm chasing them away because... Look at all of them. Right there. The current is running so fast. I can't do anything. They're right back in the same spot. Let me... I can get my anchor line out and stop I might be able to ambush them all right got the anchor out I'm trying to I'm just dragging but they keep coming back to this one spot stop stop find find it just stop I think they'll come back come on babies come back Come on, anchor, hold up. There goes a permit right there. Just swam right by me. See him right there? That's a big permit. Dang. There's my part three part of the puzzle. All right, there's the first one to show up over there. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, that current is just so fast. Down, get down. There we go. Where's he at? Oh, he disappeared. Oh, that current is just ripping. Here's the whole school of them. It's like 10 of them. Oh, oh, oh. I'm too far past them. Dang it. All right, I gotta just feed it to them. I don't know where they're at. Oh, that weed's got me. Where'd they go? Man, their camouflage is so good. 
All right, so I've got a probably an eighth ounce split shot on there. Try to get it down to them a little better. See how that looks. All right, I'm anchored up on this flats here. I'm gonna walk to that point because they're just sitting along the edge there. But I don't know if that was because I was in the anchored in the middle and then it kept them over to the side. But that's the third time they were there. They're sitting in this cut right along the edge there because it's kind of deeper because the current cuts a, an edge along there. Being really quiet. I don't have the best visibility because the sun angle. But even if I could just sneak up there and just stand on that corner. Make sure there's none sitting in there so hard to see in these dark patches big fat nothing i know they they can see me and they're all hey, he's over there so they're on the other side or in the middle only reason why they're along this edge because i was sitting in the center and it kind of pushed them to this side all right hour later i'm got to get focused i got to get a tarp in here real quick all right we're out of here maybe i'll come back if I get my tarp and I need to come back out here for permit anyways. All right, time to get a tarp in. Got our bonefish, pick up a quick tarp in, and then I think I'm gonna go back and uh, see if I could uh, pick on those bonefish a little bit more, but then start leaning towards the uh, permit side of it. So we're gonna work this edge. I already see some tarpon rolling over there, gurgling. There's glass minnows, there's weeds, well, there's sharks, but I can see the uh, tarpon rolling all the way down here. Oh, I see a bunch in this little pocket here where that shark is. Oh, right there too. All right, anchor's over. Let's get set up here. Quietly, quietly. Yeah, there's a couple there. They're all along there. Oh, there's another one there. More over there. All right, fly rod time. Stupid me, still haven't put the uh, tarpon leader on. See them all rolling over there. They're all right here. Ooh, that's a nice big one there. Too big. I'm a little too close. I'd like to be a little bit farther out. Look at, they're all just stacked in there. Ooh, perfect. Always looking at it. Oh, he got it. I didn't set the hook very well. Ooh, it's a nice small one though. Perfect. Come on, in the weeds. Don't freak out all of your buddies. Don't freak out all your other buddies. That was quick. Come over here. I'm gonna let you go really quick. This is a perfect one. I couldn't have picked a better one. All right. Schmino. My minnow. Don't break my rod tip. Oh, leader. We're on the leader. You've been caught. I didn't even get to use my glass minnows I caught. Oh. Dang it, come on. You done? Come over here. Oh. All right. Nice. That was like 
two seconds and you're done oh, relax relax I've got tarpon leader tarpon leader I'm just gonna pick you up if you just... hey oh face kick me stop rude I want to tail grab you keep kicking me pissed off ah missed it ah missed it there stop it all right got our tarpon bam on the fly schmino how you like me now schmino hand tied by me all right two of the grand slam species are down god you were perfect all right, I'll maybe try playing a couple more. That one was a little too easy. You in shock? You embarrassed? Sucking my, sucking my thumb like a snook. You got snook blood in you? Ow. Hey. Ow! Get out of here. Take the walk of shame. Alright. I think I might get another couple of them. Got time. Alright, we're going to try this on the move. No anchor. Right there. Sharks here too. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they're right there. Oh, that scared them. Those were tarping there too. They split up on me. Oh, they're right here. Oh, look at all of them. I was going for these that were over here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. There it is. Not a very good hook set, but <laughs> ah, finally, we gotta go, man. I gotta go. Chewing up my permit time. Uh oh. Why are you getting so close? There it goes. Burn some energy. Burn some energy. Use up some of that young and dumb energy. Come off. Oh, what are you doing there? He tired out. <laughs> he went belly up for a second. That should do ya. There, you're done. Oh, on the leader. Got this damn long bonefish leader. Come on. I gotta go. Oh, did it come off? All right, it came off. 
We're out of here. Nice. I gotta look for a permit uh, tailing over here, but I wanna go back to where I saw those bonefish in that same channel. I'm gonna check the Gulf side and the Atlantic side because this would be about the right time for it. Permit, permit, looking for permit. It's perfect timing for them. But I'm gonna go to the Atlantic side and then I'll come back here right before sunset. Well, I wasted too much time messing with those dang tarpon. Uh, I got such a low angle with the sun, I can't see very well. And then my shadow cast across the whole channel. So that's not good. But we'll see what we can do. I'm looking for tailors as well as stuff inside this channel, so. See my permit right over there. He was in that hole. He just swam out of that hole there. Oh, there he is right inside there. He's right there. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, that's the blue runner. No. Oh, where'd he go? He was sitting in this hole here. No. They're kind of like in the same family. Oh, I saw him. Where's he at? Oh, no. Wow, oh, it's like a yellow jack. A little yellow jack. Why did you do that? They're kind of in the familiar family. Oh, dang. No. All right. Atlantic side is going to be a no-go. Uh, the sun is just too low. I don't have the visibility for it. So I'm going to go to back to the Gulf side there. I could kind of watch the flats for any tails and then uh, chase after them if they're there. Plus there's still another tarpon spot there that I could throw some uh, glass minnows at since I didn't use those yet. All right, I see tarpon. All right there. Oh, that spooked him. Wasn't mean to do that. I just wanted to get him interested in the glass minnows. I threw it on top of them, which wasn't good. Hey, there's a tarpon right there. Let's see if I can get him to hit it. Oh. Might be time for the fly. Top water schmino. Alright. Go, go, go. Eat the fly, eat the fly. Oh, missed it. Oh. Right around it. Come on, eat it. Just playing with me. Look at that. It's right, right on it. Oh! Well, there's some full size tarpon in here. Big boy tarpon. 
saw them rolling earlier. I was wondering what they were. There's a couple ahead of me. Way up there. All right, I think we're gonna call it. We are permitless. Saw a couple, but that was it. Uh, came out here to the bridge. Saw a bunch of juveniles, but the tide is running backwards for the way I usually do it. It's running from Atlantic to Gulf, so that throws things off. There's a bunch of uh, full-size tarpon right there. I thought those were permit at first because I saw the uh, sickle tails on them, but it was just big tarpon. But uh, anyways, not too bad. Couple bonefish, couple of tarpon on the fly. So I got what I wanted to do. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. Pretty sunset, tarpon rolling all over. Over there. I just need to get me a pinfish and a bobber and just sit out here. <laughs> oh. There he goes. He's eating. They're here.